Los Angeles Chargers, I think they had a great draft. Uh, for one, they drafted Rashawn Slater, which I think I didn't think he was going to be there at 13, and I don't think any Chargers fans thought that he was going to be there at number 13. Chargers fans were her- hoping for Panay Sewell. No. I wouldn't say that. Chargers fans were praying yeah. for Panay Sewell, and they were hoping for Rashawn Slater. Rashawn Slater falls to the Chargers, and I think this was a hell of a pick. I mean, you watch this tape. Some scouts and analysts and experts have Slater higher than Panay Sewell. Mm. I mean, Slater on tape versus Ohio State held his own against Chase Young. He has really good, agile feet. He has a lot of strength, and this was a major need for the Chargers. I know that some Chargers fans wanted a corner, maybe a defensive player or a receiver, but I think this pick was offensive line all the way. The Chargers had one of the worst offensive lines in the league last year, and Justin Herbert still had a historic season for a rookie quarterback, the best season we've ever seen from a rookie quarterback with the worst offensive line in the league, and that makes it that much more impressive. And this free agency, they prioritized offensive line by signing Corey Lindsley, uh, probably the best or top five center in football. I would say top three center in football. They signed Matt Filer, who is a good guard who can also play tackle. They Brian Bulaga is there, so he's a really good right tackle. And now they drafted Rashawn Slater. So their offensive line is Rashawn Slater, Matt Fowler, Corey Lindsley. Their guard is, is iffy with Ode Abushi, Abushi and Brian Bulaga. But four of those five guys are really good offensive linemen and can really take the Chargers from being one of the worst last year to being at least middle of the pack of this season. And with Herbert, we all think he's going to improve this year. He can take a major leap. You know, and it, it's 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 funny because we were talking about it in the draft. Obviously, Penny was not going to fall to the Chargers, but we thought Slater was going to Carolina. So, you know, that's just wild how that he fell down that far. But I, I do agree with you. I think that offensive line is going to be great this year. And, you know, I think without Patrick Mahomes in that division, we could be talking about Herbert being the best quarterback in that division possibly. Him and Derek Carr at that top, I think he's that good. And I think – with all those weapons, everybody on defense is coming back. They got a new coach who they dealt with some time management last year and a lot of clock mismanagement late in games. But I think with this offense, Justin Herbert, you still got a number one out there. Mike Williams is going to take that next leap. I think this offense could be really good. All they really needed was an offensive line. And like you said, Corey Lindsay is a top three center in football. You give Rashawn Slater, whose tape was impressive, holding your own against Chase Young. That's all I need to know. Cause Chase Young was one of the best guys in football that year. So... Justin Herbert, you know, they're they're realizing that he's their guy. They're protecting their guy. Rashawn Slater, he said it. I'm here to protect you, big boy. You're my guy. I'm going to protect you. I think that right there is the perfect situation. I'm glad for the Chargers. I'm glad for Herbert. And they should, we should expect a big improvement for the Chargers. You know, we, I know a lot of people expected them to make a big leap. And with an offensive line like this, we should be thinking playoffs for these guys. They have the talent on the roster. They just have to stay healthy. Now you have that offensive line. And even then, Herbert broke records with no offensive line. So imagine what he's going to do with a new retooled offensive line. So I just can't wait and see. Yeah, and I, I think on defense, they did lose Melvin Gord, Melvin Ingram, my fault. They cut Hayward And they, too. Casey Herward, they did lose him. So they're, they have some losses on defense and Rayshon Jenkins signed with the Jacksonville Jaguars. But Brandon Staley's scheme, I think, is a good scheme. So I don't think they'll be too bad on defense. I think the division, for me, I still can't pick the Chargers over the Chiefs. Nope. I think the Chargers are near the Broncos because the Broncos just got Teddy Bridgewater and he's a good bridge quarterback, no pun intended. He's going to be a good starter for them. But because the Chargers have Herbert, they will be in every game. And now that they're going to have an improved offensive line, hope, uh, you know, under the um, under the assumption that Rashawn Slater is going to be their a good a good left tackle, this is really a testament to Joe Lombardi and to see how good of an offensive coordinator that, that he he really is because. In Detroit, he flopped. <laughs> and in New Orleans, he was an assistant. So we're not sure if he actually is a good play caller. So this is the perfect time to prove himself. But also, the Chargers are still going to have Keenan Allen, Mike Williams. Uh, they lost Hunter Henry, but they signed Jared Cook, who I think He's can good. fill in the void. Austin Eckler, hopefully he stays healthy next year. So they're going to be fine. You know, I think the Chargers 
organization, Tom Telesco. I think he knew this was the right direction going with Rashawn Slater. And I think Chargers fans, you all knew that Rashawn Slater was the right pick or at least a tackle, whether it be Slater, Elijah Vera Tucker, or Christian Darisol. You needed one of those guys to really say, okay, now let's rock and roll. Now we're going to have an improved offensive line. Now we know that Herbert has the help he needs to get this organization further. Yeah, and, I, and like you said, Derwin James is back. You know, he's coming back. He's a special talent. Joey Bosa is still there. You lose Melvin Ingram, but you have Joey Bosa. That defense, Chris Harris Jr., he's still got a little bit left in the tank, so he's still good. And I think on offense, you know, like you said, Keenan Allen was the number one. But when you when you think about it, a lot of the, last year they was in a lot of games. You know, they was in a lot of games. They just folded late. I think year two, you know, you get a year two Herbert. Everybody's back there. More The cognuity is more input. And now it's like you got a team that can definitely compete for a playoff spot. And even if you don't, you know, you still make those adjustments and get better as a team. So I think that's going to be good for them. And now we just have to wait and see. But I think Herbert making that year two leap with an offensive line is going to be big for them. And shout out to Joe Lombardi. Shout out to Brandon Steele. I think they're going to be good for that program. And it's going to be a special thing to see because I can't put them over the Chiefs either. Yeah, but it's hard. Yeah, they're the Chiefs. They'll forever be the Chiefs. But with a team like Denver, I feel like Justin Herbert can put them over the top. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater is good, but I think Herbert is better. And with Oakland, they just dropped their whole offensive line. I don't know what they're going to do. I think they're a little bit dysfunctional. So I think the Chargers can make that number two leap. 